After directing two Friday the 13th sequels in the early 1980s, Steve Miner helmed the 1986 horror comedy House, which is a movie that I absolutely love. The underrated director Fred Decker of Night of the Creeps and the Monster Squad fame co-writes here, and you can see his unique talents at work. William Cat stars as an author who inherits his dead aunt's home, only to find an assortment of ghouls and ghosts. He soon realizes that the old house has his lost son held captive in it, who is being kept by an old Vietnam War buddy who was killed in battle and blames Cat for his death. To get his son back, Cat's character has to defeat not only his former buddy Big Ben, but also a formidable army of nasty monsters. Now this movie throws the kitchen sink at the audience, including a closet containing not only a portal back to the war, but also a bloodthirsty creature, a bathroom mirror to another dimension, and a shotgun-wielding, winged skeleton monster. George went from Cheers and Richard Mall co-star adding nice touches to an already colorful and entertaining popcorn movie. So watch House, but enter at your own risk. Then, if you like it, check out the sequel. It's pretty good as well. But in my opinion, nothing comes close to this original classic. <laughs>